Well today I'm making the doors for the cabinet. Going to be two doors and I've been selecting pieces of oak for the framing so the doors will be nicely jointed, make them as strong as I can and they'll have fielded panels of sported beech in them. I always find it sort of awkward as you go through your wood heap looking at the bits of wood that you've got and there's some which has lovely straight grain, some which are sort of wavy grain, some of it's a bit thicker or thinner and it's always a matter of choosing well what, what looks nice and what's going to balance with other pieces of wood and what's going to constructionally be strong enough as well. Well I've been doing some work on the panels and I'm making up four panels again in Sportive Beach. I've got two which are really very well defined in their sort of patterning and then I've got two which are not quite so definite <laughs> so a bit of a contrast there always a bit tricky matching up this sort of stuff when you're doing cabinets like this uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to have I've got the defined patterning already on the ends on the sides of the cabinet so I'm going to then have the doors going around to the front a fairly defined panel and then in the center a less marked and figured panel and I think like that if I mirror it the other side as well I'll get a bit of balance and I think that'll be quite it won't be too much in your face as you see the front but it will continue the lovely patterning around from the side. So that's the theory I may change it as I go along that's always the the interesting thing about this sort of thing. Well I'm just laying out the door frame so I've got the two slots for the panels for the raised panels and I'm just making sure I've got it roughly right for marking out. One of the tools I do rather like for marking out is this little Veritas wheel cutting gauge. Nicely made little bit of kit. It has a little sharp wheel at the end and that scores a line. So you can quite accurately mark out the shoulders for joints with that. Once you get your marking gauges all set up, I quite enjoy marking. It is a matter of getting your, your gauges all the same having them ready and then just being able to whiz along. Well I've just been cutting the joints for the door frame and I'm just cleaning a few of them up at the moment working through just getting little little bits flatter where I want them flatter <laughs> get a nice tight fit in each joint just doing standard mortise and tenon joints and um, actually makes for a very rigid frame and I'll then route round the frame to sink the panels in, very similar to the back and sides. So here's one of the completed frames and I'm now just getting on with doing the second frame so soon be there. Jointing is going quite happily, nicely mortised in there and um, then straightforward mortise and tendons on the end as well. And need a bit of cleaning up once they're glued but they're not glued yet, it all feels quite nice and solid. Well, I'm just taking out the mortises at the moment but these are the centre panel mortises. So, quite nice relaxing work actually. <laughs> Just chipping away with your chisel. Ideally I'd probably have a mortise at the door of this. But, um, I don't know, I think sometimes we, we all overestimate the power tools, they're great but there is something about some hand tools which I have to say I quite like it's a bit more relaxing if there's not a complete rush then having the hand tools is more satisfying it does call for a little bit more skill but one soon gets that and that's really what makes it worthwhile isn't it when it comes to it So just cleaning these down. Well I've done both the door frames now. It took quite a long time but nice to have it all jointed. So I've just got to now groove them for the panels and fit the panels and that'll be the doors. Well I've just pulled out my record combination plane to do a little bit of grooving work and I thought I'd try it on the side panels to see how it's all going. So just been having a little clean up and it seems to be going quite well actually. It's definitely a more pleasurable tool to use uh, than the old router. <laughs> it's not so noisy and not so dusty. Well I'm just having a clean up session so I'm actually sort of cleaning off each of the panels and the frames and getting them all to fit. 
and I've got one now in a, a dry state, not you know, not glued up, but it's um, all fitted together okay. I'm having to deal with the odd woodworm hole here and there in the panels. I mean, this is the price you pay when you go for wood which doesn't really tend to be commercially available. Um, there's the odd bit of woodworm, I'm filling it, and frankly you don't notice it. And what's a little bit here and there between friends? I mean, this is really where I think there's artistry in the wood, because this isn't commercial grade timber. Most people probably wouldn't want to work with it, because it's, you know, got hard, soft, hard and soft spots. But that's the beauty to me. I mean, if I wanted commercial stuff, I'd go to a lumber shop and just buy some planks and make up a bit of like shop look looking furniture. But I don't. I want this kind of thing, which frankly you won't get in the shops. And um, well, it's just far more expressive. Look, cat's poor oak. I don't know. I, I just love it. <laughs> Glue ops complete, I'm pleased to say. So that's the doors. They'll need a bit of cleaning up with a plane and then I'm going to fit piano hinges down the sides and attach them to the cabinet that they're made. So that's a nice major step forward. I have now hung the cabinet doors. So the cabinet really is beginning to come together now. And the door hanging's gone fine. I always get a bit nervous about door hanging because sometimes doors go happily and sometimes they don't. And well, these have gone fine. I did have a bit of practice because I was doing another cabinet with nice piano hinges. So that got my piano hinging fitting back up to scratch and um, would have gone in lovely and flat. This centre panel is actually still loose at the moment, but it's fair. I've put in a whole centre spine on the cabinet to give it a bit more strength. And the fronts are obviously the sported beach, but it sets off well. And I'll carry on that theme with the four drawers, which are going below. And again, I've put in little centre walls here all glued in, it gives the whole cabinet a bit more rigidity. So there'll be four drawers and I've got the little runners already in place for those. So my next job will be to make up the fronts of the drawers with some sported beach and then do the sides and back, etc. And I've got some oak for that. So that will, that will be the next video on the cabinet.